What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some more changes to the Oaken Soul ring. And Zoss has now decided to buff the ring. Of course, last week we had a nerf to the ring. Uh, this week we're getting a buff. I still don't think it's going to be as good as it was as good as it was when it was first released. Now, of course, I'm on console, so the only thing, the information that I can give you, because I'm not getting any hands-on testing on the public test server, I can give you the information that Zoss has given us, and it does seem like the ring will, you know, be a bit stronger than it was uh, after the nerf. I don't think it's going to be as good as it was to begin with when it was first released, that first week or two of the public test server, whenever everyone was talking about how strong this ring was, considering it is a mythic item, and you're only going to be able or be allowed to use one bar. I mean, people were getting some insane numbers the first couple weeks. 120,000 DPS for a one bar build was absolutely nuts. And that is why Zoss decided to nerf it. But after the nerf, a lot of people in the community were saying that it was really not that good anymore. So Zoss decided to take another look at the Oaken Soul Ring and make some more changes. Now, they did do one thing that I think a lot of people might consider to kind of to be a nerf and that was they did remove that maximum health maximum magic and maximum stamina the ring gave you and that was something that was there the entire time that had never changed so since day one of the puppet test server when the open soul ring was first introduced through the nerf uh that was still there uh the maximum health maximum magic and maximum stamina were still on the ring now that they have buffed the ring, they decided to remove that completely. So the ring will not give maximum health, maximum magic, or maximum stamina anymore. Instead, the ring will now give you minor endurance, minor fortitude, minor intellect, major brutality, major sorcery, major berserk, major protection, major force, and major heroism. There are a few of these that you can get from other sources, especially if you're in a group or you're wearing some you know, really powerful gear. But there are a couple things here, in my opinion, like the major protection being a really good defensive buff and that major force, which is, you know, that comes from aggressive warhorn. Something that, you know, you'll have to be in a group force. Your, your healers or your tanks will have to use warhorn very often for you to get that major force. Now that the Oaken Soul Ring has a major force, you're going to be able to consistently get this either in a group, if you have, uh, you know, if you have a group that's not running warhorns correctly, or if you're in solo play, you'll be able to have that major force as well. So this is definitely a buff when it comes to how good the ring is going to be. This is a very interesting change. I was really surprised to see, you know, Zoss decide to buff it after they just recently nerfed it. Of course, the one key thing to this ring still, the one thing that still stands that has not changed is while equipped, you are unable to swap between your primary and backup weapon sets. So you're going to be pretty much on a one bar build. And there was a lot of players when the ring was first introduced going in on the public test server, testing a one bar build and getting 120,000 plus DPS on a one bar build. And I think that's really the main reason Zoss decided to nerf this. Now, will everyone get those numbers? No, but they did kind of understand that really, really good players would be able to pull some crazy numbers. And that is why they decided to nerf it. Well, once the ring was nerfed, all the testing and all the players out there have been talking about exactly what they were getting with the nerf. Everything I've been reading, a lot of players saying they were getting from anywhere from around 70 to 80 to maybe even up to 90,000 DPS with the ring after it was nerfed. And that is one reason a lot of people were unhappy. And it's still some crazy numbers in my opinion to get with kind of a solo one bar build. But Zoss did decide to go ahead and buff it. And now most players are reporting around 100, 100,000, 95 to 100,000 DPS with this ring since it has been buffed. And that, that is some pretty crazy numbers, in my opinion, to be on a kind of solo one bar build. Now, of course, you're still going to have to be pretty good at light weaving abilities quickly to get those numbers. But I still think overall, the majority of the community is still going to be able to get some really good numbers. And there's going to be a small percent that's going to be able to get some really crazy numbers out of the Oaken Soul Ring, even though it's going to be only allowing you to be on one bar. So there has been some pretty big changes. Like I said, that one minor nerf where they're taking away that maximum stamina, magic, and health. But everything else seems to be a buff, and the Oaken Soul Ring seems to be back into kind of its original form. Not quite as strong, but still pretty strong. I'm really curious to see if there's going to be more changes to this. Even though the public test server is coming to an end, we know that, of course, Update 34 and the High Isles chapter will come out first on PC. And then for all of us on console, it will come out a few weeks later. I'm curious to see those first couple weeks on PC if, you know, Zoss decides to go ahead and maybe make some more changes to the ring. We may not ever get to see the Oaken Soul Ring at its full potential here on console, but hopefully the way they have made or what changes I guess they have made now for the buff, 
hopefully we'll get to experience this at least pretty powerful mythic ring here on console before they decide to change it again and hopefully that will not happen but we'll just have to wait and see so leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace